Hello, Dr. Mintz here. This is an interesting case, and maybe you know the, know the diagnosis already. Bubbly kidneys, more commonly called polycystic kidneys or adult polycystic kidney disease. This is generally a, an inherited disorder that is inherited through a dominant mode of, trans, of transmission. This looks like some stones in the gallbladder, by the way. But all these cysts, these numerous cysts, are all related to adult polycystic kidney disease. Coronals are often an excellent way to look at kidneys because you can see both kidneys in a longitudinal plane coronally and this is really quite impressive so if you get the overall length of a kidney like this that's close to 20 centimeters You'll find this uh, discussed in several areas of the text, including renal masses and requisites uh, on page 111. So it's often just summarized as autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease or autosomal dominant polycystic renal disease. Almost always involves both kidneys, pretty much always. And about half the cases actually have involvement of the liver as well. So this is why some people just refer to it as polycystic disease. So it's an autos autosomal, mo um, mode of an autosomal dominant mode of inheritance. And this is a fairly impressive case, you would agree. Well, if you think that's impressive. Let's see, how about this one? Here is a case even more severe where you can appreciate not only that the kidneys are massively enlarged by these cysts, actually some of them you can see are hemorrhagic higher attenuation areas, but that the renal tissue <coughs> is uh, nearly entirely replaced by them. All right, so let's look at that coronally. And uh, look at this. It's just unbelievable. This is as impressive an example of polycystic kidney disease or adult or autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease as I've ever seen. It basically occupies nearly the entirety of the abdomen, compressing the liver and spleen superiorly. Remarkably impressive case. Let's look at the sagittals, maybe look a little kind of interesting. Oh my goodness, look at the length of this. This goes from the diaphragm well into the pelvis, 32 centimeter length. Unbelievable example of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. In this case, without involvement of the liver.